Oh hi there. I am so glad you are finding these old Nintendo games so easy. Time for another classic game. Ninja Gaiden 2. Ready? This sequel overall is pretty beatable. Oh yeah. There is no spin slash in this game. So, you're gonna have to beat the game using these weird shadow clone things. Oh, by the way. The only thing you need to know about the storyline is that there is this new boss. Ashtar. More on this later. To beat the first screen, just hold right and boost off this first enemy. Now you can use your iframes and run through long sections of the screen. Go up here and get this ninfo, and make sure to get the Art of the Fire Wheel sub-weapon. Now you climb like this. Keep holding right. Jump at this line so you boost up here. Now jump and throw the fire as you're even with this blue building. You can boost off this enemy and pick up the first shadow clone. Grab the final ninpo before fighting the stage 1 boss. To beat the stage 1 boss. Just run up to him and slash him four times with the sword. Now you can boost off the boss and throw the fire four times. Turn around and finish him off with the dragon sword. Done. On to stage two. Stage two and we are on a train. Hold right and jump over these enemies. Now throw your ninja star like this. Keep slashing the enemies. And make sure to get the art of the fire wheel and this ninpo. It's okay if you take a little damage from the birds. Now throw your fire like this to pick up the second shadow clone. Just take a look at him. He's your twin brother. I believe this. Make your way to the end of the screen. Stage 2 2 and we are in a windstorm. So get this ninpo and slash your sword four times to buffer the wind patterns. Slash these two rock-throwing enemies in their faces. Swing your sword one more time, make sure to get the down flame sub-weapon. But don't do this. This screen is hard. So quickly climb up here and throw your down flame like this, and pick up the Art of the Fire Wheel sub-weapon. Throw the flame right away to get this scroll and max ninpo container. Boost off the right side of this gunner enemy. Use your iframes and the wind pattern to boost off this bullet. Slash this enemy in the face before going down to get to the boss fight. Baron Spider. The Spider Boss. So apparently, this guy is a scientist who coincidentally gets bitten by a tarantula. And now he can summon and control giant spiders as if they were his own children. To beat the stage 2 boss, jump and throw your flames like this. Kill spiders? Oh yeah, if you lose the shadow clones, you can just kill the boss with the sword like this. Nice. Moving on. Stage 3 is very dark. So let Ryu hit the floor at the beginning of the stage before holding right to run on the D-pad. Pick up the down flame sub-weapon and this max ninpo. Jump and throw the down flame here. Use the down flame again and boost off this red blob thingy. Watch out for this bat. Wait here. It's okay if you take a little damage toward the end of this screen.
stage 3 dash 2 and we are using the down flame again. Go up here and flip flop up on this platform. Throw your down flame. Jump as soon as you get to the top to manipulate this bat. Throw your ninja star and we are climbing now. This screen is hard. Go up here and throw your ninja star like this. Grab the max ninpo. For this next part. Jump near the edge of this platform to pick up the art of the fire wheel and the scroll. The scrolls will increase the amount of ninpo that Ryu can carry. Wiggle the D-pad here. Now you can boost off this enemy and skip part of this screen. It's okay if you have to take the bottom route. Pick up these extra items and health if you need them. But you'll probably get messed up by this flaming boomerang guy. Go up this ladder and you can fight the stage 3 boss. Jump once and throw your flames. The boss's hitbox is only active when he is in the air. So wait until he jumps and then keep hitting him in the face with your flames until he dies. Oh yeah. If you get here without the flames or shadow clones. You can use your sword and keep the boss stun locked on the screen like this. Keep slashing Funky in the face and... Done. On to the next stage. Stage 4 and everything is on fire here. Just hold right and pick up the Ninpo and the Art of the Fire Wheel sub-weapon. Throw your flames here and grab the down flame sub-weapon. Flip-flop and boost up here to get the Fire Shield sub-weapon. Use your Fire Shield to make it to the end of the screen. Oh dear, I've spontaneously combusted. Oh, I am sorry. Oh, it's quite alright, I've grown tired of living. Jump off the ladder when Ryu's back is even with this flame. Use your Fire Shield again after getting to the top of this ladder. Try to get this scroll here and activate your fire shield again before landing. Jump across these pillars toward the end of the screen. Watch out for this bat. Use your fire shield again. And you can finish the screen with this boost if you want to try it. Stage 4 dash 2 and we are running through water now. Just hold right and make your way down here. Use the fire shield like this. Keep holding right and remember to get this max ninpo. When you get here, boost off this bird like this. Go to the end of the screen and boost up one more time by jumping when Ryu is even with this red orb thing. Activate your fire shield here. Grab this health and ninpo and keep going. Use your fire shield again to get to the end of the screen. You'll want to grab the windmill star sub weapon. Big fucking ninja stars. Keep jumping and throwing your ninja stars and... Perfect. Oh yeah. If you don't have the ninja stars or clones, you can use this sword kill on the boss. Stick to the wall here, take damage, then slash the boss in its watery mouth until the fight is over. On to stage 5. The first part of stage 5 is important. Make sure to quickly get up here. Now you can jump like this and use your shadow clone and the little ninja star to get the fire shield sub weapon. To beat the rest of 5-1. Go down here and take a boost from these spikes. Now use your iframes and take a second boost from this bird. Now you can use the fire shield to get to the end of the screen. Oh yeah. Make sure to get this scroll before going down here. Boost off these flames and slash these enemies in their faces at the end of the screen. Stage 5-2 looks very cold. So keep holding right and pick up this ninpo. It's okay if you take a little damage here. Now use the fire shield just before this really scary spider thing. Get the ninpo, kill the spiders and grab more fire shield. 
There's health here if you need it. Now go down here and pick up the Art of the Fire Wheel sub weapon for the Stage 5 boss fight. Keep sliding and killing the enemies, and don't fall in the pits as you make your way to the boss door. Ashtar. This boss is really easy. You just throw your fire three times like this when the boss appears. Three more flames and... Stage 6 and we are in a cave. Grab the first Ninpo and take some boosts here. Now go down this hole. Toilet Pinter go down the hole. <laughs> bye bye Toilet Pinter. Nana go down the hole. Bye bye Nana. Make sure to jump right away here to avoid this bat. Now you can throw your flames here and grab this scroll. Boost off this bat and throw your flames again here. It's okay if you take a little damage on this screen. Stage 6-2 is pretty easy. Just get the full Ninpo at the beginning of the screen. Now you can throw your flames and grab the fire shield sub-weapon. Activate the fire shield for most of the rest of the screen. But make sure to grab the down flame here before making your way to the boss fight. To beat the boss, just grab the wall here. Now you can throw your down flames at the doggos until the fight is over. The sword kill for the doggo boss is pretty tricky. So be careful and try not to take much damage as you slash the doggos. Okay. We made it to the final stage. Stage 7 starts with a green waterfall. Make sure to grab the full Ninpo here. Now go up here and throw your ninja star like this. Now you climb up the wall and grab the down flame sub weapon. Throw your down flames twice here as you make your way through the rest of the screen. Make sure to grab the art of the fire wheel sub weapon before this ladder. Watch out for these flames. Make sure to pick up this final scroll. Keep slashing and killing the enemies while not falling in the pits. Use your flames here. And here. Use your flames here. And here. Okay, time for the exciting conclusion. Run, climb, flames, boost, more slashing, more boosts, more climbing. Throw the flames and take a boost from this bird. There's health here if you need it. Try to boost onto this platform before clearing out the enemies with the sword. Wiggle the D-pad here and take out this boomerang enemy. You can grab the health here before the final boss fight. To defeat Jacquio, stick to the wall and wiggle the D-pad. Now you can throw your flames at the boss like this until he dies. The second phase is a head stuck in a wall. Just go to the other side and throw your flames until the fight is over. For the final form, jump and slash the head of the boss. Position your shadow clones and keep slashing the demon head. Now you can finish the fight by using the clones and Ryu to slash at the heart.
Oh yeah. If you need to, just use the sword for the final boss rush. You can do it like this. And then like this. It's okay if you take some damage during the final form if you have the health for it. But if your HP is low, duck under the red bullet things and keep slashing at the head. Watch out for these moving hand thingies. Just repeat this cycle until you destroy the demon head. Then take out the heart with the sword. Congratulations! You did it! Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. More videos.